17. Okay, yeah, Bomber fans, 10 home and away games to go, and as we say, hopefully some finals as well. Now, boys, it's hard to say you've got a good draw the way this season is panning out, but only two teams in the current top eight to go, but one is outside of Sydney at the SCG next week. So, given the position, should we expect a finals appearance from here? Great comment, because all I read is, from the analysts, oh, Essendon's next X amount of games are all against sides out of the bottom eight. All right, people. Who do you want to play? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You want to play Sydney at yeah, Sydney? Yeah. Uh, who else is out of the bottom? Oh, mate? they're saying, you know, some people are saying that yep. Collingwood's a lock and St Kilda's a lock. None of these games and are locks. Do uh, you have to play Carlton again? Yeah, they're never a lock. Yeah, we do have to play Carlton no, again. We do. Do yeah. we play Brisbane again? Yeah, we Brisbane, Eddie. The Suns away. And they're showing Suns away. Doggies, Fremantle. Oh, well, that, the Suns away is a lock. Yeah, yeah. it's a ridiculous no, no statement. No. Yeah. Ridiculous yeah. statement. You only have to look at the ladder to go. Mm. There's a line after the eighth team, which means less than it's ever meant. Yeah. Yeah. Who's at, who's actually? I've got the ladder. Who's Hawk, Hawks are out of it. Hawks are out. Brisbane are out of it. Brisbane's out. Uh, North th- Melbourne, St Kilda, Collingwood. Well, North Melbourne Fremantle will be decided and this week. Yeah, yeah they got to win. Yep. Sydney mm. are making a charge. Some good the pies are, are still yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. What are the Blues won? Four. Four. So they're about third bottom, but they're they're, they're, hard, a tough they're hard to beat. Team to beat. They're always hard to beat for Essendon. I'm yeah. not picking and choosing who to play. No, no. I'm telling you. Oh, great. No. So there's going to be plenty of twists and turns to come. Now going back to this midfield, does, what needs to change to make this midfield better? Is it just the players in there have to get better, or as we've seen the last few weeks, Fantasia's gone in there a bit more. Green pushes mm. in there. Wallet pushes in there. Yeah. So is it a bit of personnel change, or is it just the onus on? the starting five or six is getting a bit better. I would have thought um, if you look at entries uh, efficient but conceding entry. so if we look at that as the collective, uh, I'm looking at the way that they defend and they transition back. So if you concede at, the, at the, the source, then you need to push back and support and have pressure on the ball but then also support so that you slow it. So we concede less entries. That should be, for me, really that number. I mean, the clearances is a challenge. Uh, some, still some quality rucks in the comp. Uh, I don't think... The Bombers have been competitive, but uh, don't have, I think, in fairness, an A-grade ruckman. So if you are going to get done uh, at, the col- at the source, pressure the ball and get your support back. Play that little bit higher. I reckon there's another area you've got in mind, Shory, that uh, your notes reflect? Um, I, um, I'm probably out of the old, old school and I've done this in my articles and it's certainly not a... a, a I've raised the question of, of the tagger, yeah. which adds another layer. Yeah. Um, even if you take 20%. And I, I, want you to, I want to think back to the Geelong game where Wusher used um, Heppel outstandingly well on Selwood wasn't a tag, wasn't a wrap around the arms, wasn't it not get the ball. It was just in the area when he goes to a stoppage, follow him out of that stoppage when he surges and you've got him. So that balance between what we saw last night um, was uh, Hutchins, Hutchins, Hutchins on, on, a, on a negative yeah. tag. Mm-hmm. So it's a balance of tag. Do we have... Is it Myers? Could it be a role for Myers? Could be a role for Myers. Um, I was hoping that it could play a role, but he's been out of the side, even though I was hoping it could be a role for the development of Langford because mm-hmm. that's the school that means Scotty came out. If if this was 10 years ago, mm-hmm. Shudes should be putting Langford to Nathan Buckley and yep. Robert Harvey. Good, good w- wouldn't you know, he'd good do example that. was Jared McVeigh at Sydney. That's he true. started yep. his life as a tagger yeah. and then became a, an offensive It's a great weapon. starting mm. point for young players if they can... So it just adds another layer. We, um, Hocking came in for the Carlton game, and Murphy was but didn't play a specific tag. Not really. Was he on? Was he on Murphy no, or just part of the midfield? Tag. Part no, of the midfield, just, right? Yeah. So we really haven't got one. So the question is, do we develop one? So we've got one up our sleeve. When yeah. when we when yeah. when we make the finals, yeah. so you've just got one there because look at the elite midfielders. Um, and, it, and it's actually working in isolation. People saying about defensive presses and full-time zones and all that sort of thing. But the amount of teams that have used it and won 
is something like ninety well, percent. Look at the Swans and Johannesson last week. Yeah. Sloan, he had a different role, it wasn't a midfield role, but he, he, Sloan at Adelaide. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I thought that was if we go to Geelong and Adelaide. Scotty Adelaide Selwood. didn't tag. Yeah. Scott Selwood went to Sloan. Game done. Yeah. Two teams that. Uh, particularly Geelong, if you look at them, and I don't think we have the midfield that can go head to head. Because I think if we were, stood head to head with most other teams, they'd shade us, I think, in talent or that A grade element to and them. That's why our halfback line is critical mm. in, the, in the evolution and advancement of McKenna, uh, McGrath. Does McGrath need to be thrown into the midfield at times in the second half of the year, or is he no, I don't physically he, not ready no, to do that? No, I don't that. think he's physically. Ready for that? He can certainly um, go up and play on the wing. He's played a lot of wing football at school footy, and 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 he has gone. He has played central midfield. He can play there, but um, McGrath versus Ollie Wines, McGrath yeah. versus Paddy Cripps is is not on at the moment. And I'm Andrew's, you know, old coach. Yeah. I, I wouldn't do that. But in bursts. There would be a way to do it that he doesn't start in the centre bounces. He starts on a wing, and after the centre bounce, he pushes onto the midfield and say, a Goddard slips back out to the wing. So there's a tactical way of getting in there, but as far as stoppages, I don't think he's ready for that yet. Now, what about Aaron Francis? I don't think there's been as much hype amongst the supporters about it since Courtney God, Johns. Since Courtney since Johns Courtney came Johns. on the scene and he was the new John Coleman, <laughs> everyone wants to get Aaron Francis in the side. Yeah. Can he have a role in this senior side in the second half of the year? Can he have an impact? He's shown in his games in the first half of the year uh, that he can for 10 or 15 minutes, but his ability to play a quarter or a half is not there. Now, that uh, they would know better than us whether that's um, elite fitness or whether it's craft and the ability to find space and get the cheap ones. Because part of it as a forward is not being able to get every ball in the... Con- You've got to find other ball, and that's really your craft. That's a decision that they need to, to work on with him. Uh, further to that, James Stewart has looked OK the last couple of weeks in that role yep. because of his mobility and athleticism, which if you look at Francis is something that we think generally that he needs to work on um he needs to really for aaron i would say the selectors would look at him and say look we're not going to bring you in off 12 or 14 possessions yeah. as a forward you need to knock the door down and it's a message often given and two give or three us, good games in a row give us no reason to leave yeah. you out but at this stage you're just giving us a bit of a reason to do that we want you in i'm sure they would yeah i think they would. they know where they pick him they know what he can give them in the future but right now he has to demand that spot go and kick us five uh the next couple of weeks and then he will be in the team the debate with the Essendon people uh, on, on our digital media and social media and all that sort of thing is the highlight package yeah he I will go now over to the boys and I will pick out a highlight package equal to any player in our team. But as Scotty said, it's totally... uh, Forget that, people. Please forget that. Mm. If you could transfer the athleticism and fitness of Stuart and give it to Francis, you you Mm. just wouldn't be having that question because he would have played... um, How many we played? 12. 12. He would have played 12. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So though, and, he doesn't play and, another senior game this year. It's not the end of the world. No, absolutely not. No, it's not. No. no. So that that's the debate. Forget the highlight reels, folks. We know what we've got, but as she used to say, don't don't give me the problem. Give me the solution. And the solution might be actually long longer term than our excitable supporters are hoping for. And mm-hmm. if we think we need to lock the ball inside our Ford fifty, and he's not able no. to apply great pressure, Can't do that it. becomes a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Now, a few quick ones to finish, boys. Is McGrath a lock for the rising star? Uh, like, um, well, let, let's be glass half half full. Rising star for Essendon for the, no, or the, for the competition? Love Burton. Hmm. I'll give you Burton at Hawthorne. McGrath? He's a good player, Burton. He's, He's a good He's player. He's a good player. Um, plenty of looks at it this year, hasn't he, <laughs> down back? Been busy. Yeah, yeah, he's a good player. Well, I'm I'm McGrath. McGrath. <laughs> hey, listen, let, let's try and be fair. Yeah. Um, Pal Pepper has uh, exciting first eight has dropped off the season might tick into him a little bit jacob hopper is a player that may come back into the team yeah. should come back into the team for the giants 
Um, there's a player, and regarded. I've forgotten. There's a player that's playing his second year. March yes, Bank, March Bank. Yeah, I March I'd go March Bank in front of Burton right at this stage. Yeah, I, agree I think March Bank's been yeah, super I think he's been excellent. for consistency, and I, I don't know how they select it. Mm. You know, yes. there's all yeah, the sort true. of theories and even conspiracy. Well, I think theory. it's been more inconsistent. You've got to be it? in I mean, AIS yes. and all that. So for if they looked at who Andrews played on. From Rioli to Pulopolo to Eddie Betts, yep. yeah. quality of opponent plus position on ground uh, divided by entries in yeah. the forward <laughs> fifty. <laughs> 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 but, Equals but no, Aiden McGrath. Let, let's let's yeah. no rose coloured. Let's open up and think. Burton's been terrific. Yeah. Pal, Pepper, yeah. um, March Bank, outstanding at centre half back. So he, I don't like the term in the mix. But he's got his nose in front. But it's not a bad field. All right, two one, more really quick ones. Is my man Zach Merritt a smoky for the Brownlow? Yes, he's a legitimate chance. Polwell I think last he's a bit, year. I think he's a bit better than a smoky. A bit better than a smoky. What did clearly, he get last year? 19 uh, votes? 19 votes, yeah. That's a lot of votes in a team that won, won three very games. few games. They're winning now. Um, they've had a couple of dominant wins. I think he's getting the three or the two in that, but... You got 19, so they see him. That's the yeah. thing. It mm-hmm. won't be dominated. Hopefully, it's not Selwood. Or, you know, I listened to. I turned the TV off last night and listened to the radio. Mm-hmm. They gave Dangerfield the three votes. It, it, he gets three votes too often. They gave him three votes. Yeah, it's they the gave West him Coast. from Ben Allen. Ben Allen. Oh, Default yeah. position, Rubbish. isn't it? Default position. Yeah. Um, stats position. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah that's I, I'm going to. I might be biased here again because he's another one of my students. But um, I want to see the votes at the end of the year comparison between um, Kelly and and Merritt. Because I reckon Kelly, if you said Merritt's a smoky, can can the two young kids, Mm -hmm. they're at the same level, Brighton Grammar, Melbourne Grammar, Mm. they played with each other. I think that they're the same age. And that's a great contest. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, very exciting. It is they? a great yeah. contest for end of the year. So keep an eye on the yeah. Kelly Merritt matchup very and Brownlow at this stage. And finally, one word answer, boys. Oh. Will Essendon make the finals? Yes. Uh, yeah. That's two words. Ah, uh, yeah. I just want one word. <laughs> Will Josh Kelly stay? <laughs> you got, you got <laughs> Josh Kelly stay or leave? Uh, from you brought you brought it up. I brought him up. <laughs> um, I've known him since grade <laughs> yeah. six. Um, on what I know, uh, I would think yes. Oh. I, think, I think he'll start. I think yeah. he will have a couple. Yes, he's twenty-two. Take yeah. him to twenty-four, yeah. and he can. He has one crack at the medallion. And if I was speaking mm. to him, which of course I, I haven't. <laughs> My oh. I, <laughs> I haven't, Scott. No. Just try and get a bit of team success. Yeah, yeah I agree. Get some team. Get a, get a maybe get, get a, a medal. medal. Get a medal in your cabinet, and and yeah, yeah. and then yeah. you can go wherever you want. Yeah. All right, boys, thank you very much for your time. Mm. It's a great mid-season review. And, uh, well, I think it's a very exciting second half mm. of the season coming up yes. for the Bombers. Do you send this film down to the match committee? Absolutely. Do they, I'm do sure they they'll get, be all over. They review this? Absolutely. Watching live. That's right. They, 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 oh, they're boys. watching they're live. They're in the theatre as we speak, yeah. watching, I think. <laughs> well, thanks for your time, boys. And uh, next week we'll be back, of course. Huge game, as Shory mentioned. The Swans at the SCG oh. off the bye. So, uh, thanks for your time. We look forward to seeing you again next week.